Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklet Educational Channel. So we are continuing our crash course series and this is the 29th part of the expected and important questions related to environmental science examination. So today again we will continue with the energy and environment chapter. So let's begin the unit. The first question that will be a numerical will be solving today is on your screen. The question is in methane fuel cell what will be the cell potential and efficiency so it is asking about the cell potential and efficiency of a methane fuel cell so the given r it has given the delta g that is the gibbs energy which is 8 into 10 to the power 5 joule per gram and delta h naught that is change in enthalpy is be given as 8.8 .8 into 10 to the power 5 joule per gram so let's see how this kind of questions will be solved to solve this kind of question we have to remember one formula that is Gibbs free energy formula which is del G is equal to NFE cell. So this is the formula and here I will let you know one by one what are the meaning of this alphabet. Del G is the Gibbs energy that is the Gibbs free energy. F is the Faraday's constant whose value is 96500 coulomb per mole. So you have to remember this one. I hope you would have also remembered previously. So next हम देखेंगे E cell क्या है? So here E cell means is the cell potential. Yes, the cell potential which is asked in the question, we will get it from this formula. So how we'll get? We'll simply divide delta G by N F. Yes, I forgot to tell you what is N. So N is very important if you are solving any of this kind of question related to fuel cell, because N means number of electrons transferred in the reaction. So कितना electron transfer होगा? वो आपको कैसे याद रहेगा अगर आपको रिएक्शन पता है सो इफ यू आल्सो डोंट नो द रिएक्शन ऑफ मीथेन फ्यूल सेल और हाइड्रोजन फ्यूल सेल यू कैन जस्ट रिमेंबर वन थिंग दैट इन मीथेन फ्यूल सेल व्हिच इज गिवन इन दिस डायग्राम द नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसफर्ड इज 8 सो 8 इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ट्रांसफर होते हैं मीथेन फ्यूल सेल के लिए सिमिलरली अगर क्वेश्चन में होता कि हाइड्रोजन फ्यूल सेल देन यू वुड हैव कंसीडर्ड n दैट इज नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसफर्ड एज 4 यस as you can see in this picture, that's in hydrogen fuel cell, four electrons are transferred. So these two things you have to remember. And then what we will do? We will simply to get the cell potential divide delta G by NF. So here we have delta G as 8 into 10 to the power 5. So we'll write this value divided by N. So N we have got that 8, it is N multiplied by F, that is 96500 as I said now. So after solving this, we will get the E cell that is the cell potential as 1.03 volt. So you can also check by solving this and tell me if I am wrong or correct. हूं. So next we will see the question was asking that what will be the efficiency of this methane fuel cell. So this fuel cell ka efficiency kya hoga? Efficiency ko aapko maine pehle bhi bataya hai ki koi bhi cheez ka efficiency ke liye formula hai output divided by Input multiplied by 100. So, percentage we have to multiply 100. Ke liye. So, here the output will be the delta G because delta G gives free energy will be the output which we will get fuel cell. Se milega. Delta H will be the input. So, input ka jo value is already given. Gaya hai. Delta G that is enthalpy change 8.8 .8 into 10 to the power 5 joule per gram. So, what do we Just put karna hai value and we will answer mil so let's see how to find this efficiency we will simply write delta g that is 8 into 10 to the power 5 so here I am not writing unit but you have to unit hai. divided by delta h that is here it is given 8.8 .8 into 10 to the power 5 so you can solve it this is very simple hai. 10 to the power 5 10 to the power cancel out and 8 by 8.8 .8 we will multiply it if 100 then it will be efficiency hoga. 90.9 percentage so we got the first one this E cell that is cell potential which is 1.03 volt and now we got the efficiency which is 90.9 percentage so it is very efficient so we will solve this question so you have to remember two things I have told you this formula Faraday's you have to constant I hope you will remember N is the main which is number of electrons transferred methane is 8 hai, methane fuel cell ke liye. Hydrogen के लिए है four. So चलते हैं हमारे अगले question की तरफ. So the next question is from OTC that is Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion System. 
here the question is saying the otc is working between two different degree celsius we know there has to be a temperature gradient to work and one temperature will be higher temperature which is 30 degree celsius giving here and 5 degree celsius also it is giving here in the question so these two are given 30 degree celsius will take as the temperature of higher reservoir that is having higher temperature and 5 degree celsius we will consider the temperature of the cold reservoir next what we have to see is question is asking to find the possible efficiency to find out this efficiency the formula is 1 minus tc that is temperature of the cold reservoir divided by temperature of the hot reservoir so ye aapko yahan pe mil jayega temperature of cold reservoir is 5 degree celsius and th is 30 degree celsius as i have said so after solving this that means we have to solve how we will solve hame bas kya karna hai 1 minus tc that is 5 divided by 30 karna hai so 1 minus 5 by 30 ye bilkul wrong ho jayega yeah because First we have to convert this into Kelvin. ये degree Celsius में दिया गया है. हमें Kelvin में करना है. तो Kelvin में करने के लिए क्या होगा? बस 273 add कर देने हैं. जी हाँ, 273 add करेंगे. हम अगर TC में तो हमें मिल जाएगा 278 और TH में अगर add करेंगे तो हो जाएगा 273 plus 30 is equal to 303. So I hope आपको समझ में आ गया है. Next हमें क्या करना था? Efficiency के लिए one से ये minus कर देना था. जिसका की वैल्यू मैंने सॉल्व कर दिया है आप भी सॉल्व करके देखिए ये आएगा 8% इसका आंसर सो यहां पे 8% है ऑप्शन नंबर बी में तो दैट विल बी द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑन योर स्क्रीन ये जो क्वेश्चन है इसमें पूछा गया है बायोगैस प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय एनेरोबिक बैक्टीरियल एक्टिविटी इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग गैसेस सो हियर यू हैव टू थिंक अटेंटिवली एंड वेरी केयरफुली बिकॉज़ इट इज वेरी कंफ्यूजिंग and here the correct option will be option number two yes from the biogas which is produced from the anaerobic bacterial activity the release of methane is seen along with carbon dioxide ammonia hydrogen sulfate and water so this is very important it has been asked several times with different twists and turns so aapko ye yaad rakh lena hai ye pancho gas next chalte hai agle question ki taraf Next question though, this was asked in the net exam, so this was asked in net examination that identify the correct sequence of fuels according to their carbon intensity. So here if you are having strong basic then you can easily solve this question because in nuclear fuel very least amount of carbon is released or you can say nuclear fuel mein carbon ka release nahi hota hai. So the first option will be the carbon intensity will be least in nuclear. So that means in all these four options only this is having correct option because nuclear it has kept in first option in other things they have kept in the last option or third option then we have to know the sequence followed by natural gas then more carbon intensity is found in oil and highest is in coal so you have to remember this sequence let's see next question the next question i have intentionally kept it after this question Yes, because you can see in 2014 examination, same kind of question has been asked. Yes, how? It has been asking that which of the following fuels have highest HHV carbon intensity? HHV means high rating value carbon intensity. So here, if you know the concept as I told in the previous question, you can simply go and write that option A is the correct option. That is coal is having the highest carbon intensity among these four. So you can check that, you can see these 4 options are coal, natural gas, oil, nuclear. Same option was given in the 2013 exam but with a different kind of question. That is it was asking the sequence but here it is asking which is having the highest carbon intensity. So that's why I am every time focusing that up. Frequently asked question, previous question ko thik se kare aur kafi sahi tarike se kare. So that's all in today's video. I hope you like this. And if you want to continue this series, just comment me in the comment section and don't forget to like this video. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed till now.